Hello guys, welcome to Expertizer Academy. This is Raghavan and today we're gonna to see civil 3D sections. So in the previous lesson, we saw how to create sample lines. So that is the mandatory step that you need to have. So once you have done that, then we can create sections. Now, just like your profile, remember profile has got profile as well as profile view as two different steps. Sections has got the same element as well. So you create the sections and then you create the section views. So now, Refer to the previous video if you want to know how to create a corridor or a struct or a surface or alignment profile or sample lines. You check the previous videos and um, yeah, we're just going to follow through that one. So from here, so I got the sample lines created. So the next thing which I'm going to do is create a section and then followed by a section view. Okay, so first thing is um, let's get going with that. So I'm going to create uh, section views. So if you click on um, section views, for an example, um, you get to see two options here. One is a section view, another one is a section uh, view multiple. So now before that, uh, the sample lines that you have created will actually give some of those options. Now when I select the sample lines, you get the ribbon on the top, which gives you option where you can add uh, additional labels to your sample lines or a table for your sample lines. And then you can go into the sample line properties, uh, which you can actually select it and you can see what data that you uh, got under your sample lines. So this is pretty much all the data that it's going to be shown when you create your section. So now if you want, um, you can change the styles and all these kind of stuff and we don't have any section views at the moment. So next you can see there is actually an option. Um, you can edit one particular sample lines. Uh, you can also edit the sample lines using these groups as well. So you can move them, uh, you can adjust them and things like that. And uh, there is an option where you can edit a one particular sample line. So you can select it. And then uh, it shows a dialog box where you can adjust the uh, right width, left width and all these values. You can do that as well. And um, so next one is uh, we got an option where it says uh, sample more data. So when you click on it, you can go and select the data that you want to sample it. And then um, this would this would help you to uh, organize your data that's inside your sections. So now, um, so two, two ways you can go into creating a section. So one is right from here. So uh, the same dialog box that you see on the home page were creating one single section view. Another one is a creating multiple views. Both will do the same thing except this one will create for each of the sample lines and this one for selected sample line. That's the difference. So, um, so I'm going to view create multiple views. So select your alignment. If you're not sure, click on this button and then go to your drawing and pick the sample line. Sorry, alignment and same way you can pick your sample line group as well. Remember, give a proper meaningful name and description. So it's going to be a bit more helpful and uh, you can give a name for your uh, section views as well. And then um, section view style exaggeration. So this is basically uh, the verticals of your graph how tall you wanted it 2x the values or 3x or 5x so what sort of exaggeration you want to have it and then click on next and then you can choose a plan production template you can click on this ellipsis button to actually go and pick if you're if you have some custom templates you can pick that in as well so i'm going to click on this one and you can see the templates are coming from a specific location where you installed your uh, civil 3d you can go in there and you got your folder that says plan production. Remember, do not choose these folders. They may not have your section view template. So go to your plan production folder and inside the plan production folder, you got various set of templates that you can choose from uh, based on the country kit that you install. These things will, will change. The location of these things might also change. Uh, just refer to your country kit documentation to get some notes. So I have installed ANZ country kit, which is Australia and New Zealand. So for that one, I go to this folder. I can choose different types of templates I have. So this one is plan only. And uh, this one is plan, uh, plan over another plan. This is plan and profile and uh, plan only plan and section sheets. You can choose which one you want. So for this one, I have choose the section one and it's a metric. And uh, if I want to choose, let's say, uh, there is a section version for A and Z version. So I can choose that as well, section sheet with A and Z. Okay, and then um, then you get the layouts. Um, so what size of uh, layer that you're gonna use. So there is A1 sheets, uh, one is to 200, and then A3. So I'm gonna choose A3, one is to 500. Click okay, you can change these ones as well if it doesn't fit. Click on next. And uh, the offset range. 
this is on the left and right Swartworth. This is based on um, uh, your sample line uh, width. So some of these things, if you adjust it manually or set different widths, so it's going to say is very click on next elevation. It depends on the data that you added to your section view um, and you can actually truncate the data for a specific height as well. So for now, I'm just going to keep it as varies. So this will show pretty much the top and lower most extent, uh, extent of all the data that we have added into the uh, data source. And list of all the data that we're going to have. So now uh, you got the natural surface. Uh, do you want to have the natural surface? And then um, then we have this. Um, so guys, um, so now we can actually see what data that we would actually see in the uh, final section view. Uh, now you can choose which one you want to draw and which one you don't want to draw. So it's all up to you guys. And the same way with the labels as well. So which one you want to have labels and what is the style that you want to have for each one of those ones. So um, so let me pick some of them. So let's say we got um, the first one is a natural surface. Um, so let's say if you want to have that. Um, so if I want to have that, I can go and pick a style that says existing ground done. So next one is let's say if I want to have the corridors. So what style we want to have? Remember corridors styles comes from the code set style. So I still have not gone through this yet, I think fully. So probably we'll do it in a separate lesson. So for now, I'm going to choose, let's say all line works with shading, no shading. So there is different things that you can choose from. Um, so there is plotting, hatch areas. Uh, you can see section plot view uh, with hatchings, all labels and full assemblies. So we can choose that, click OK. And then for the top line of the corridor, I don't think so. I need it because I already have the corridor which does that. And the bottom most line which covers all the um, uh, bottom most links, um, I may not need it. But what I would actually do is I will actually create another surface and will keep that as a sort of like a final surface. For now, let me add this one and then add this as a design surface and then click on next. <clears throat> and this is the band set, the same thing that we have done with the profiles. So you can choose a specific band sets. This has got 0 0.7 weeding. Uh, you can choose zero weeding or a different weeding value. So weeding is basically <coughs> if the band sets are too close by, it will it will um, weed those uh, additional bands which are too close, uh, which is not going to be really useful. Um, so that is the weeding factor. And um, now I'm going to choose zero weeding. So it's going to have too many too close lines. And then create section views. And remember the section views, we got your profile on the top right corner. The section view should be of your top right corner to your profile. So I'm just going to click right up here. It's going to take a while. And uh, as you can see, it creates a whole lot of uh, sections. It's because it's starting from here and goes from here. There are several sample lines. For each one of the sample lines, it creates a section view. So now if you look at it, uh, each of those views, so that is your uh, natural surface. Yes, that's your natural surface. And that's your uh, datum line, which goes in the bottom. That's the datum surface. And that's your corridor cross section with the hatchings. And then there is labels on top of it. And then that's your band set. And uh, so you can see um, that's a proposed levels, existing ground levels, and the level difference is still zero. So this is the same problem similar to what we have with the section. So now uh, we got few things here. So one is a section, another one is a section view. So now if I select one of these elements, it will actually show the section plane, which is basically that particular section object. And uh, if you want to go into the section view, you pick the view object, and then it takes you to the section view and it tells you that you're looking at the section view and this specific view. And um, so now this section view properties is different and a bit more complex compared to profiles and alignments. So now there are different things. One is you can edit the labels that goes into the view. Another one is uh, add, add view labels. This is the label that goes on to the view, not into the section element. The section element has got separate labels. And then the section properties, if you try to go into the properties, nothing will happen because you selected the view, not the object, the section view. So this is a view and this is a section. And then uh, sample more sources, you can select it and you can select one of those sections and you can choose add and remove uh, objects. And then uh, view properties. Um, 
so we got section view properties and group properties so section view properties um, so it will take you into that specific view so that means any changes that you're doing here this will affect only this particular view and if you go to the view group properties so it's sort of similar to the previous one except it doesn't have the first tab which shows information of that per specific view so this is for all the sections so now as you can see this is all your uh, section views and the style specific those to those views with what sort of exaggeration we have we can go and change each and every one of them and this is the bands you can select them and uh, right now this is the sort of same thing so the level difference is zero that's a problem that we have and uh, so we got the design surface existing ground surface s1 is design s2 is existing so if you scroll up here you can see s1 should be design so as you can see s1 is design so i'm going to go here to surface one I'm going to choose design, which is going to be my top of my corridor. Uh, let me choose datum. Sorry, datum. So it's going to be the datum. Okay. And the next one is S2 yes, is going to be my existing. So this one should be in surface. That's a natural surface. Okay, so that's all set. You can save your band set. You can import another band set. You can add different set of data into your band set style. You can change it. You can do all that. Click OK once you're happy. And uh, so you have updated the band set for all the section views. Similarly, there are other tabs here. So that's a volume table. And then we got the profile grade. And we got the offset elevations. And then the stations. So then you can go to sections. So this is all the the data that we're showing on each of those views you can choose which one to draw which one not to draw and uh, then you can change the style of each one of them as well so let's say for the corridor right now we got the hatchings uh, let's say you don't want to do that because you're printing a lot of uh, paper and you don't want to waste ink so you say without hatching click ok click ok and there we go so now we have updated it now check the level difference now we got the level difference working so that is all uh, for the sections, guys. So if you have any specific questions, just put it onto the section. Uh, we'll try and catch up. And um, yeah, so thank you so much, guys. And thanks for watching.